driving me insane Silence rattles in my brain Yeah, I gotta get away Always waiting for the fall So I build my tablets tall Wandering through these empty halls Break the cycle Can you open your trunk? Thank you. Let me put it in the back seat. No, can you open your trunk? Thank you. Yeah, we're going to rehab today, guys. I got time to finally get to where I'm at. Mm -hmm. What? What made you finally decide? I haven't wanted to get, like, not like just life I want, like, it's not what I want. I mean, it's just hard to get to where. What type of life you want? A normal life, you know. What's a normal life to you? Work, working, having a place to live, you know, you're hungry, you have food. pills. Normal life. Yeah. Just ain't living out here. A lot of things have changed, right? Yeah, lots have changed, but it, it, you know, when you're around addiction, active addiction, it's not, you're not living life, you're not living really. You're just existing. You're just existing. Yeah. I got clean down here. First time I got clean, I got clean down in, in, a, in a bed. But now drugs are very good over my house. It's, every day I go to that, I guess. I mean, you can't get clean, you know, you're homeless. It's like you're yes. out in the street, you have nowhere to go. This is what you do, is what you know, you know. Yes. I think you get clean out here if you, you know. If you have somewhere to, like, stay, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, you know, if you have, like, I have to get a job. You can't, you know, you have to be built, you know. Mm -hmm. I've worked before. I know you have. I relapsed five days later, I got laid off. I got laid off five days later, I relapsed. How long you was at that job for? Over a year, I'm almost, like, two years, almost. That's a long time, right? Yeah. I was a temp, though. Like, um, temp. That's the one. Yeah, but I supervised the other temps. So you think that's a big problem for a lot of people who go to rehab when they come out? They don't have, like, a place to stay? That's what triggers trigger them into going back to using you? Think? Well, I, I don't know about it because, I mean, I just know that, like, I can't come out and no. I have nowhere to go, come back out of here. To what I was doing, the, the streets exactly. and my sister Gina and tell her I'm on my way to rest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's going to be very happy to hear that. Yeah, I haven't talked to her since I relapsed. Yeah. She, she reached out to you, you know, so that's what she reached out to you. Yeah, but she reached channel. out to Channel 5 because she was, saw you and she, that's a way to get in touch with you also, so. Yeah, Kate's sister Jaina has been a tremendous help in this whole process, you know, financially and emotionally. Want to give her a shout out. We need more family members to not give up on there. Well, my sister Donna has been married. She has my daughter. She takes care of her. Yeah, sister. shout out Donna. She took care of Kate. She made sure this whole transition for her was as smooth as it could be. That's awesome. She 
she's adopted my daughter and she loves her and treats her like she's her own. All right. Thank God for that. Yeah, Kate got a really beautiful little daughter. And, you know, stuff like that encourages her too to, to do better in life and family support. Because some people, they don't have family to take care of their kids. And what happened? System, foster care. Not a lot of kids grow up in good foster care. Some do and some don't. So those who are fortunate to live with relatives are blessed. She can't text me back. She said, I love you too. You can do this. She wants to smoke her cigarette before we go inside. I finally know how to live without hurting myself. I think that I am moving on because I do feel less broken. I needed a sign. This is a sign that I'm healing. I'm finally healing from you. I'm finally healing from you. Alright. Mrs. Eugenia does it again. She said, I pray for you all the time. You can do this. Just, you know, just stay patient and go through the process. Go, guys. Hey. They need to get a desk. Be able to help because that's the kitchen side, but I don't know.
back out here. It's a little dark, fortunately. Four hours later. Four hours later. Kate, what happened, Kate? So I was in there and I waited four hours. Um, I was honest with the site and I told her, like, like I'll stop for like three days, maybe five. I, I, like, I, I take breaks, like, I take breaks, but like, I, I need something because, like, I keep having cravings and I start getting high again for some reason. Like, you know, I'll go three days back and I and they just get high. They didn't get high for three days later because I just went that high. I guess I wasn't supposed to be honest because they, um, they, um, what was it? To return home and follow up with the wedge outpatient IOP. But, um, it's discouraging. It's discouraging. This is the fourth place I've been to. And first, it was Prevention Point just sent you to Episcopal. Episcopal sent me to friends. I was at, I was at Aids and Gerard, and now I'm here. I'm at friends now. I, found, I didn't go to friends that day with Aids and Gerard. They didn't have no walk ins. I'm here, and it's discouraging. It's really discouraging. Like, uh, how do you get yourself to rehab? <laughs> Yeah, it's a process right now. It's definitely more difficult due to the fact COVID. Yeah, they, is, they said they said being in COVID and all, and I, and I do go days with it. Like I can't go and just not get high because it's not it's not physical, but like. So I guess they take taking more severe cases and stuff. I guess. I, I guess I gotta um, maybe, maybe somebody they, maybe somebody out there in your audience knows. Like, I don't know. Um, yeah, it's, it's some call, people. It's some people that. I have to myself in my own bed. Like I have insurance. Cause there's some people I could definitely reach out to tonight when I get home. Yeah, like I, I mean, I, like I've never really done this process. Like I've never put myself in rehab, so I don't know. You do it great. Maybe you can just go. I don't know. Call rehab, get to bed, and call your insurance. I don't know. I'll talk to a lady that. Cause prevention point is good for nothing at all. Yeah, guys, all the good stuff we've been hearing about prevention point, all they I do is just. went in and he told me where to go. That's it. That's it. Go to Episcopal. It was Episcopal Spring Garden, or maybe Fifteenth Spring Garden. I don't know. That's what my my said. That's where we should go. My said, yeah. So guys, we've been. She said they put you in detox there, and they're not a detox for crack. So I don't know either. Yeah, we got. There is no detox for crack. Yeah, we gotta talk to her. Maybe she's talking about. No, I talked to her yesterday. She told me they you go upstairs to, re to detox, and then while you're in detox, they come talk to you and ask you to go to to. Um, Impatient, but like, I, I mean, maybe they'll still take me for detox. I don't know. I don't know if a detox that any, you know, um, withdrawal or detox should go through a crack. I've never done it. I've never gone through withdrawal crack. So I guess I'll, 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 I'll go there tomorrow and find out, though. Okay, guys. I'm tonight. Yeah. I'm starving. They feed you jailhouse food in here. And this is Friends Hospital we're talking about. They give you a piece, uh, two pieces of bread with three. Frozen pieces of turkey on them. Jailhouse sandwiches, huh? Terrible. For people that's trying to get <coughs> into the hospital comes with apple juice and graham crackers. I eat the graham crackers now. Yeah, it's definitely frustrating for people trying to get into rehab having to go through process like this, getting turned down from one place to Absolutely. another. But we're not gonna give up. No. You know, we're gonna keep on fighting. Right. Somebody will accept you. Alright, don't give up hope, okay? Stay no, I'm positive. Gonna, I'm gonna call my sister. Maybe she can help me. Maybe she can figure out how to do it. I don't know. Thank you, though. I appreciate you, you know, you talking about all this. Yeah, definitely. We're going to keep on doing it. We're going to go to Spring Garden and see. Let your, let your story get hurt and somebody will take you, all right? Yeah, and then when I'm in the back and they tell me they're going to discharge me, I say, all right, well, can you know, can let me have a just smoke a cigarette and I'll wait for my discharge papers. You're locked in the back. They won't let you in until, until they're ready to. He said, no, not until your discharge papers come. He was like, are you kidding me? You know I'm being discharged. I thought if you brought yourself in, well, you guys see the process that we have to go through to I get... I seen a nurse, two doctors, and a psych. Late night out here, going back to the Badlands. Hard to get focused on the dark. Driving me insane Silence rattles in my brain Yeah, I gotta get away